Hey guys, today we're going to talk about moving during COVID-19. So what are we going to do? As I am a student of Weber State University, so and our respon our university is taking a lot of responsibility and doing everything with so much carefulness. So we all are going to have our keys of the new apartment or we can say we can say new hostel or new suit in our mailboxes with all those documentations and they have emailed us regarding our like time slots in which we are going to do the move in if we in which we are going to move in to our new rooms so let's see how it happens because that's kind of like smart like they just gave us choices out of five days and numerous time slots that at what time we want to move into our apartments so that's pretty good and we are allowed to have one or two friends not more than that to help us moving in in the new apartment and i'm going to show you all those pictures and everything that how we do that and as the best part about this move in is both my this apartment and my that hostel doesn't had like any covid cases before so it's going to be okay like it's it's better than having some cases so we don't have any cases on both sides and me and my friends didn't had like any interaction with any covid positive person so that's another a positive thing so let's see how it happens and how it goes because I feel like it might end up going well because because the wildcat village is like five minutes away from here so it's not too far so things can go pretty easy and I, I'm not sure that if we are going to meet anyone in the like housing office in that building because they're trying to maintain social distancing so they might just do everything like indirectly like you finish your documentation and you throw those papers in some mailbox so and they will receive it and they will rectify it and verify it so they can do that that's how they're going to eliminate the interaction part and as we all have our keys we can go straight to our rooms and start doing our shifting and moving in and setting up stuff so that's that looks kind of very smart let's see how it goes I am in my other videos I am going to show you how we are going to do our researches that how we are going to follow the social distancing rules while being in labs and that's very interesting all thanks to our lab manager Karen Mann so let's see how it happens right now I'm done with the luggage stuff and everything and i'm going to show you my this apartment and then i'm going to show you my that apartment and i'm going to show you the travel and how we are actually going to move in because i feel like you guys should see that how we are doing it because it might help you because that's a really i feel like it's very systematic so you should see that so let's go okay so that's how the apartment starts to the kitchen like it starts in the kitchen and the first thing we see is like it has like microwave it has oven and stove and refrigerator and then it has dishwasher and a lot of space like this whole space is for keeping your stuff then sink i know it's gross <laughs> we can't help it i'll do it later and then you got a lot of drawers like this one and this is like whole space to put your stuff so then you got like all that space to put your stuff again so kitchen is so spacious and it has like all the important stuff that you need to me like cook and and try new things and then this is the common area you can look over it and that's my bag and I am packing because I need to move in in like two days so we are gonna skip it so now that's the area where people dresses where we all dress up 
so that's the dress up area and you can see that and you get a whole stuff putting space here like that's a lot of space and then you get a lot of space here then this is a washroom and that's my suit mates room so most of the time in this apartment four students reside in one apartment but right now because they're trying to maintain social distancing due to COVID-19 we we have like two students in each apartment and now you are in my room that's my bed again this apartment is so much like full of drawers and cupboards so here you get like two drawers like these two are massive and then you get like this whole big cupboard to put your stuff and then again you get like three big drawers <laughs> then again you get like a whole table like study table and with the whole drawers so i think i give you a whole tour of the university village of weber state university after that after that oh wait you cannot see me that's bad i'm trying to get myself in the okay guys we need to adjust like this i can't help it so after that i will be moving to stewart stewart was such building of wildcat village that's a complete different suit system of weber state university and then i'll show you that like they have like residence hall and all different kinds of like kinds of buildings but i cannot show you that because i'm not moving in in those buildings i'll be moving into the stewart wasatch hall so in this video you're going to see this university village like apartments and then you're going to see how am i going to move into the stuart wasatch building and then i will give you a whole look of stuart wasatch building stuart wasatch building is lovely <laughs> so that's good anything else that is left i know i need to do the dishes and i'm tired okay see you next time bye okay guys i got my keys for my housing and we did the documentations through like online mode so i didn't have any paper they did all that stuff via online and that's good that because if i would have touched the paper the paper would have gone to the administration and then it's like no touching <laughs> so that was good so after getting my keys i will be moving into my next apartment in like next two days and i'm going to be so busy so I wanted to show you the university village my this apartment so that you can on one hand you can see you can be a part of the whole move-in process and on the other part it's weber state university and a lot of people are curious about their hostels and apartments and suits and ho everything so if i can be a part of it then why not and yes weber state does have some virtual tours but my this video might give you a very like personalized experience so let's start it <laughs> is that is it start? yeah okay so we are going to start the move in to the wildcat village and as we're going to do this during a pandemic we need to wear masks and gloves and we just started and that's my roommate she's going to help me doing that <laughs> it's a lot of stuff guys and we're going to show you all the procedure that how we are going to do that and with connie we have this bear baby bear, baby bear he's the most important part of the team and he's going to help us like a lot <laughs> yeah do you have any suggestions um we're going to be using my buggy because i have a pretty small car but we'll give you shots of the buggy <laughs> Yep, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's really pretty, red, and fancy. <laughs> Let's start. Okay. Okay, guys. We did the stuff part. We got like a little bit of stuff in the car. Like, not a little bit, like a lot of stuff in the car. Say hi, baby. 
Very. <laughs> He's like not at all interested. <laughs> He's like, what are you guys are doing? You guys are crazy. So the Wildcat Village is like just 10 minutes drive from here and the interesting part is like we don't have any coronavirus cases here as well as in that building. So that's a really good news. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> what else do you want from me? <laughs> okay. I'm so lucky to get to stay in this building. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Depends on the staff. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay guys, we'll let you know that how we are just putting our stuff back in that new room and I'll, I'll, I will, I'm gonna show you the new room too. Okay, till then, bye. Bear thinks that we are going to his dog park. Poor baby. <laughs> and now see, he's still so quiet and acting like a real good boy. He is a real good boy, but still. Sometimes he gets so naughty. Just look at her, him call. <laughs> now he's talking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay. Be quiet. Oh my god. Hey guys, now we are at the Wildcat Village and here's our bear. And here's our trolley. Yep. We got a lot of heavy stuff, so we are using this buggy to drove to our room. <laughs> and then I'll show you my room and all that Stuart Wasatch building. Okay, see you then. Okay guys, now we are at Stuart Wasatch Hall building. So that's the common area. That's the dining area. That's where we're gonna eat, but I don't know how we're gonna do it in COVID. So I don't think we're going to use these pa this space. As you can see, because of COVID, everything is like shut down. Nothing is ready, so it means that we might be not using all these things. Okay, now my part and just look at this oh my gosh I think it's too Chloe so hard oh yeah now you can see this oh wow that's the view and every floor has this kind of stuff you need to swipe your card and then the door opens. Now, pretty. Like you got like these kinds of boards everywhere. That's my room. Okay, let's go in. Okay guys, the apartment starts from here. These are our, our, our stories. Yeah. We went with the dog and Nikki. Where's, your, where's my dog? Hey, there. Hey. Play with me. And we are in her new room. See that? New bed. Her microwave. And the part. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye. So that's how we started. And then we have a common area that's my suit mates room so we are not going in there that's Ghani she's so cute and then that's the thermostat and then that's my room Connie already showed you I'm just going to give you a like rough view like as compared to University Village it doesn't have a lot of drawers but it still have like six for you you got one study table and one like drawer system of like three drawers and those three drawers are massive if you want to like have a look over it okay then after that you have your dressing up area and there's a lighting yes. and in this area you get like a lot of drawers you can see that and that's me and that's the toilet part and that's the washroom part and that's the steward wasatch building so we're done we'll talk to you later 
So we showed you the whole moving in process during a pandemic and we took all important precautions and <laughs> yeah we did duh guys and both the the most important part was both the housing doesn't have like any case of covid so it was such an easier process but if they had it the whole story might be a different the whole story would have like different aspects because then there are a number of factors that will get like added in that story so that that's why it was an easy move in and here's a bear it's hard to get a catch on him he doesn't like cameras <laughs> oh baby no he's not interested in that okay guys see you soon bye